In this video, we're going to see an overview of the features available in the work screen of All Data Manage Online. Clicking the New Document button will clear any information on the screen and start a blank document. Clicking the drop down arrow also gives some other options for starting a work document. Blank document and new document perform essentially the same function. Clicking customer will open the new document with the currently selected customer, but remove the current vehicle. Likewise, the reverse is true. If we click the vehicle link, it will start a new document with the currently selected vehicle, but clear the customer information. And selecting customer and vehicle will start a new document with both the customer and vehicle information still on the document. Customer information is listed here, and vehicle information is here. You can mark a vehicle on site by clicking this box. Click this link to enter a vehicle or key tag number. This link will vary depending on your choices in key tag setup. If you choose key tags, you will need to create key tag numbers. If you choose a vehicle tag, you can enter up to 10 characters. Click this link to enter a due in and due out date and time, as well as other pertinent information. You can add predefined symptoms and DTC code descriptions here. You can also manually enter symptoms by typing in this field. There are also predefined work descriptions available. Use these drop downs to note the service writer. and technician performing the work. You can set up and use work types to keep track of what is in the shop. Use advisory notes to inform customers of any issues the tech may have found on their vehicle. Assigning media codes is a good way to keep track of the effectiveness of your marketing efforts. There is also a media analysis report that will show you the profits by media code. Create customized reminders in the User Options section of Setup to alert your customers of upcoming services that may be due. You can associate symptoms with custom jobs, and when that symptom is added to the repair order, Manage Online will show you those custom jobs here. This gear icon allows you to turn on or off these various panels we've just covered. If the screen is unlocked, you can arrange the placement of the various panels how you want them. It's recommended that once you have the screen the way you like it, you go back and lock the screen. With a job group feature, you have access to all of the labor and parts links you need to make completing a repair order easy and efficient. All of these links are accessed by clicking the Add Job Group button. Let's explore these links. Blank Job Group allows you to start a job with no line items just a job description, and, optionally, you can add a job category and designate a technician. Custom Jobs accesses the custom jobs that are pre-built and ready to add to the work document. OEM Labor Times allows access to industry standard labor times to add them to the job. Catalog Parts accesses your online parts catalogs. Maintenance takes you to the factory maintenance schedules. Labor opens a quick labor pop-up that allows you to start a job using the labor rates you created and set up. Quick Parts prompts a list of frequently used parts and fluids, allowing you to quickly add them to the work document. Inventory Parts gives you the ability to add parts from your shop's inventory, as well as manually enter parts information for a single sale. And lastly, with tire sales, you can quickly add tires to the work document from your inventory. This gear icon allows you to adjust various display settings on the work screen. Thanks for watching. For more information on this or any of All Data's products, visit our website at www.alldata.com or call one of the numbers on your screen.